Jan My name is Janice Lewis, and I'm proud to be with you today as a leader of Virginia Organizer. Woo! 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 First of all, I want to make sure we honor the workers of the University of Virginia, the people who keep everything running, preparing and serving food, keeping the grounds looking great, cleaning the buildings and doing lots of other things. We should recognize them and applaud them. That's right. Woo! does not treat all its workers with dignity and respect. Yes, ma'am. If UVA really cared about its employees, they would use some of the billions of dollars they have collected to make things right. That's right. And pay a living wage. Woo! Every year, our rent, our electric bills, our water bills, the cost of our groceries, our medical care goes up. Mm -hmm. So why don't the employees of UVA get a living wage that meets their needs? I know an employee of UVA that has worked there for 18 years and who still lives in public housing. That's sad. That's sad. I know people that work at UVA who get health healthcare services at the free clinic. That doesn't make sense to me. Not at all. I know many employees of UVA that have worked for many years and have no money saved for emergencies. Mm -hmm. If the rector of the Uni University of Virginia got a flat tire today, he would not hesitate for one second to get that tire fixed. Mm -hmm. But if a low-wage worker at the University of Virginia who serves students food every day would be in big trouble with that mm -hmm. flat tire. Yes, they would. Yes, ma'am. If the president of the University of Virginia went home tonight and found her refrigerator was not working, she would not hesitate for a second to get the refrigerator fixed or get a new one. But a low-wage worker at the University of Virginia who keeps Madison Hall in tip-top shape will be in a financial mess with that broken refrigerator. That's right. If the, if the men's basketball coach at the University of Virginia went home tonight and found out that one of his children needed new glasses so that they could read better, he would not hesitate for one second to get those glasses. But a low-wage worker at the University of Virginia who cleans John Power Arena after the basketball games would struggle for a long time to pay for their child's glasses. Flat tires, refrigerators, reading glasses, we're not talking about luxuries here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about real, real-world struggles. Mm -hmm. The UVA workers need a base wage of at least $13 an hour. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.